Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another Route 24 video. This is more Senran Kagura Burst Renewal on the PS4. So if you missed the last part, I'll put a link in the description. Go ahead, check it out if you need to. Uh, basically, what we did in the last part is we just kind of like um, took a look at just the main story. Um, really early in the game, like the first three or four or something like that. Um, we're still in chapter one, you can see here. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all we did. Uh, so we could do some more of the main story, or I was thinking like, why don't we go ahead and take a look at some of these other features in the menu here. Um, we could... Actually, let's just go to the store, let's see what we can get. So when we finish the like the last couple of missions, yeah, we got like, credits, uh, and we can use that to just get a bunch of stuff. If you've played any other Sun and Kagura games, or I guess like um, the recent ones, like I said, I haven't really played the 3DS ones, so I don't know if it had a store or not. Uh, but this is definitely like, uh, it's like almost like a staple of this series. Um, just from top to bottom here, like this is just all like equipable costumes. Like we have a sailor uniform. Um, uh, I don't even know how to translate that. That's those, those like exercise clothes, uh, school swimsuit. If you've like, if you watch anime, that's definitely like a thing. That's like an anime staple. Is like the the one piece uh, school swimsuit. I don't know, what would you want to buy? Like, we can get, um, what are these, like, adornments, I guess, I, um, I guess I would call them. And here's some, like, some media and stuff, and the music. Here's the typical stuff, like I said, this isn't, uh, surprising. Uh, we have 34,000 current zenny, I think it is. Let's see what this is, this is just art, we can just purchase it. Now it's sold out. So I guess we just have it now. So we can head on over to... Um... This... I don't know what it's called in the English translation. Like, the materials room? Maybe they just call it materials, but... I don't know. So this is that thing that we, um... I'm pretty sure at least. Let me just double check here. Yeah, so that's the, uh, the art that we just purchased. We can view it full size. This is from the story. So if you're playing the main story and there's like a particular piece of art that you really enjoy, you can buy it and then you can look at it anytime you want, I guess. You can just boot the game up. Or you can just go to Google, I don't know, whatever. Uh, let's go back to the store and why don't we go ahead and purchase uh, a costume. Um, I don't know. This is like a, a polka dot one piece. That might be all right. I just, I'm just gonna get that one thing. I don't want to spend all my money on, on costumes right now. I'm the kind of person that likes to stockpile uh, a lot of stuff and then just kind of blow it on everything down the line. So let's head on over to the change room where we can see Katsuragi being a super pervert. That face. That, that face. Alright, so we'll head on over to the change room. And, uh, we can see... Basically, just all the, um... All the costumes that we own. So this is like, yeah, this is all the default stuff. You can actually... You can, like, change... Uh, the color of these items. I was, I... But what did we get? We got the polka dot one piece, so I assume that'd be way down here. Here it is. That's what that looks like. That's color one. Color two is green. I'm actually colorblind, so I know those are the, there are polka dots there. I can barely see them, but I actually can't see them very well because those are the same color to me. I don't know. Um, I'm actually not. I think blue is probably the best one. Uh, I assume these are uh, bikinis. I'm guessing. Oh, okay. These are, I think these are the same bikinis that are in, um, what was the last one before Peach Bee Splash? Estival Versus? I think these are the same ones in the Sakura Edition. Which, I'm actually not sure the Sakura Edition... I don't know, did that come out in English? I know English Territories got Estival Versus, but I'm not sure if they got the quote-unquote Sakura Edition, which was uh, a re-release. This lets you change, um, the underwear of your character, because the game features a very tasteful clothing destruction system. 
Uh, and you get to see the underwear from time to time. Also, when they run, like, their skirt flips up and you can see their, their underwear. So yeah, that's it. That's 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 the clothing changing aspect of this game. Let's head on over to Skinship. Let's see what this is like. Now, if you've... Uh, this is not your first Samurai Kaka Rodeo. You definitely know what's going to happen here. Uh, Skinship, I don't know what they call that in the English version. It's probably not Skinship. It could be. So down at the bottom, we have uh, command prompts. Uh, L3 and R3, click those together, and it says Summon Hands, which is my favorite Final Fantasy Summon. Um, and then we can also... Uh, like, there's like, turn 90 degrees and stuff like that. If you want to... I don't know why you'd ever want to do that. Uh, but it's an option. Let's go ahead and let's summon our hands. And this is probably... Fine, I guess. Uh, L3 and R3 is kind of like, um, I guess that's that's what that is. That's like a slap. You can hit her in the stomach. You can hit her wherever you want, I guess. Um, L2 and R2 is like, um, I don't know. What is that? Momu? That's like rub, I guess. Uh, Momu or Skamu, which is for the grab. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at, I guess, another mission. We can get back to some more of the core gameplay, uh, which is which is fun. It's, I, I actually really do enjoy it. Uh, down to the second option, actually, there is like a training option. It's just for uh, for practice, which is fun. I think you can you can customize a lot of things um, about the stage. You can summon how many enemies you want and play with like your statuses. You can always be in your what is it? Your transformed ninja form. There's a word for it. There's a better, like, game term for it. Um, anyways, uh, we're still in Chapter 1, so let's just go and check out the next uh, mission, which is 1-6. We based, we have to change our character because the main character has changed. It was Katsuragi, but now it's not. Can anyone tell me why um, Hibari has her people's like like uh, plus signs? There has to be. Is it just like a character design choice, or is there an actual like lore reason for her people's for to be not normal people shaped? I'm really curious. Um, I, I don't know. I, I think the, the character designs for Sano Kagura are... They're pretty good. Um, yeah, they're definitely fan service um, But they're... I mean, they're meant to be, right? That's that's the thing. That's this game's thing. If you take the fan service away from Sano Kagura, um, I feel like it wouldn't have any kind of personality at all. It would kind of just be like a generic... Um, beat him up. Which in its own sense is fun, but you know, definitely the fan service in Sanon Kagura, that's... It's, 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 um, identity, really. Like, you know, it goes hand in hand. So... You know, I think the character designs are pretty cool. They are what they are. They, unapologetically, it's definitely fan service -y. But yeah, is there a reason for Hibari's eyes like that? Let me know, please, actually, do let me know. Just leave a comment. So I think I really wasn't paying attention to the story like usual, but I think what's on the line right now is um, a stuffed animal. Hibari wants it, and she's like, yeah, please give me the stuffed animal. So that's why we're fighting, which is totally normal, right? This is like, yeah, this is all right, I guess. Um, there's only one character, uh, so you don't have to worry about like your targeting being weird. What I do actually appreciate in this game is it has those um, damage. What are they even called? Uh, like markers, I guess. So you know where your attack is gonna come from. You can kind of read 
where you're about to get hit. The only experience I have in other games is like, um, like in Final Fantasy XIV, which I, I played a lot. Um, these are your, like your area attack markers, so you know where to not be when those goes off. I can probably parry that, can I? Nice. I don't know why I was doing. I don't know why I wasn't parrying it. I probably should have just done that from the beginning. All right, I should probably also transform. As far as I know, uh, Burst Renewal has d does have a lot of content in it because it's like technically a remake of Sun Kagura Burst, uh, which in in itself was kind of a release of the original Sun Kagura. So it has all the content from like from from that one, which I think is two schools. Okay, I'm definitely gonna need to just counter that. There we go. So I've been playing really poorly. I've been taking all those hits. Um, so I'm just gonna counter all her hits. Because it's not that hard to do. That's definitely, I think, how you want to do this fight. It's just, when she does that, it's just, just counter it. So timing's not even strict at all. You can... Okay, as I... My bad. Let me try it again. The timing's not strict at all. You can counter it at any moment. There we go. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what happened there. I did use one of my Nympho and I, I think I just did it in a really bad spot so the camera kind of got stuck in the corner. Yeah. So there's really really nothing like too difficult about this fight. It's just, you can just counter that. It's a really predictable uh, pattern. Maybe what I will do is just for the hell of it, is just redo this on hard to see if the, the boss pattern changes at all. That was, I think, that's it, is it not? I think we're done. Awesome. That's it, I guess that was that one mission. 1-6 was just the, the fight with Hibari. So I guess she doesn't get that stuffed animal. Huh. I guess she gets it anyway, so how nice of her. I guess she was planning on giving it to her from the very beginning. It was supposed to be a present for her, so... I guess... They didn't need to fight. Yeah, so it was like, I guess they didn't need to fight. And she's like, why did we... Why did we fight then? Alright, well that's probably gonna do it for now. So if you enjoy this content, you can keep it on the channel. There'll be more. Uh, just like it really soon. I think coming up, we'll probably do some more Valkyrie Chronicles. Or I guess even some Dragon Quest, so... If you're into those games, that's I guess that's good for you. Um, otherwise, you can let me know what you would like to see, actually. Just go ahead and leave a comment, and uh, I'll see if I can get around to those. You can also follow me on Twitter. You'll find a link to my profile in the description. You can go ahead and follow me if you want to. Since you're still here, want to head on over to the channel and find something else to enjoy. Uh, there's just a bunch of videos there for you. But as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again. Take care.